Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. This is Dr. Pramil. I work as a chief medical officer and uh, I'm also an associate professor of medicine, one of the large medical schools in the uh, United States. We are going to continue our series of lectures on the toxicities of herbal medicine. Um, the drug, our uh, herbal medicine name is Chaparral. Okay, uh, before we go into the our presentation, I just want to make sure the whole purpose of this talk is not to put the herbal medicine down. Herbal medicine have tremendous benefits. Everybody know that. But the one thing people doesn't know, uh, because they all think herbal medicines are completely safe. That's not the case. Okay, when you come to allopathic medication, everybody kind of think, oh, all these drugs can have complication. But herbal medicine, a lot of people ignore it or think um, is saying no complication, but that's not the case. So we want to educate the public about the, um, you know, even herbal medicine have some of the complications. Um, so you need to be aware of it. Physicians need to be aware of it. Public also need to be aware of it. Okay, let's go into our mm, uh, our drug, our herbal medicine today is Chaparro. It's also called Elleria tridentata. Um, other names is like uh, um, Creosote bush or Greasewood. Those are the names uh, people usually use. It's actually, um, you know, North American um, were using it like a long time ago. I mean, American Indians, uh, this is one of the herbal medicine they were promoting it. Okay. Now, let's look at what are the components in this herbal medicine. They have like tannins, flavonoids, saponins, uh, phytoestrogens, troponins, I mean actually terpenes, um, allergic acid, and gallic acid. Those are the main components in this. Um, chaparral herbal medicine, this one is causing all the effects. Now, like, um, let's look at what are the beneficial effects people were using. Um, they were using it for many benefits, like mainly um, sexually transmitted diseases, like tuberculosis. Um, those are the main thing they were kind of using this drug for, okay? Uh, when we look at the scientific literature, pretty much, um, you know, all the uh, complications um, are based on the liver disease. Okay, but let's look at some of the main major complications. One, you can have liver disease, kidney problems, your gastrointestinal, like nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain. You can have allergic reactions. You can have like photosensitivity. That means when uh, you, when you go outside, look at the sun, you know, you get irritated. Those are the main complications. Okay, now we did some. Um, literature search and see look at and the only thing pretty much is all about the case report about hepatotoxic or liver toxicity so 45 year old female came with a painless jaundice um, she was taking chaparral 100, 150, 160 milligram daily the increased uh, liver function test pruritis anorexia fatigue those were the symptoms uh, she developed after taking this drug okay the next case uh, very uh, severe case a 60 year old female initially she denied when she came in she was taking the medication but the her, her husband said uh, this lady was taking two tablets of chaparral for daily um, unfortunately this patient ended up into complete liver failure and kidney failure she needed a double transplant um, she underwent liver transplant and kidney transplant and uh, fortunately she recovered okay now, next uh, case report, uh, I mean, it's actually a series of case, uh, case reports. There was 18 case reports uh, about liver toxicity, mm, hepatocellular necrosis, cholestatic, cholangitis, and um, cirrhosis. Those are the uh, biopsy finding uh, in this patient, okay? Um, next, ca next case report is about a 42-year-old man. It was taking huge amount of... Uh, um, Chaparro. He was taking 500 milligram a tablet. He took it for six weeks, um, and then it started to develop into um, develop into liver failure. Um, according to the man, they were promoting promoting this drug. Uh, somebody gave it to him, calling it a free radical scavenger drug. That's the name. Uh, he thought he was taking the medicine. Okay. Uh, next case report: a female. She was taking two tablets daily. Developed anorexia, nausea. Um, and then dark urine, the liver failure. Fortunately, she recovered. Next case report. I mean, I mean, those are all the case report we discussed. Uh, mainly when we come to United States um, FDA or Food and Drug Administration, um, 
recommended to not use this drug because of the mainly about the liver and kidney problem okay Canadian authorities also recommending not to take this medication overall uh, when you take the drug Chaparral it has several complications especially liver failure okay um, and so I would not recommend taking this drug um, this is one of the um, herbal medicine have many many complications kind of affect in the liver as we know once the liver toxicity develop there's no treatment for it right uh, you have to have like a liver transplant so just be careful thank you so much for watching our presentation today I greatly appreciate it. you continue your support uh, by subscribing um, our channel thank you very much God bless